Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Damron. We're playing the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. We've been making our way getting all the relics and all the gems in every levels to help you get your 100% achievement and trophies with this game. We are now ratcheting up the difficulty in the last few levels and we're starting with the high road. This is one of the missions that will separate the men from the boys and challenge you to see if you can even do this. So the platinum relic is 1 minute 4.61 seconds, but if you're having trouble, you can shoot for that gold at 1 minute 13.2. So let's go ahead and watch a Platinum Relic run, and then we'll break it down. All right, so you can see we jumped in right there at 59.27 seconds. That's gonna give us about five seconds of leeway. So I got a lot of leeway, but this is a very, very challenging mission. But hopefully I can give you some tips to help you get through this. This is certainly one of the missions that will test you and determine if you can even do this. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna kind of do some general hops here, get around our first hog. We want to jump and spin essentially at the same time while holding forward. So with that single jump, we blow up the box and cross over it. Now, a lot of the times in this mission to really get that platinum run, we need to utilize jumping on the rope to the right and immediately jumping back to the path. One of the mistakes a lot of people do is they jump, they kind of do a big jump where Crash Bandicoot somersaults. If you do that, you're likely to slip off. You can see I'm actually doing small jumps and I tend to do it from the middle of the platform. So I small jump over and small jump immediately back. That way you should be able to do it with some more consistency. If you're having trouble staying on there, that's why. That jump that I just made right there, you can see I was almost slipping off of the path um, and before I actually jumped. Uh, that's how you can actually make that gap without having to use the turtle. So we can spin through the turtle and then make that jump across that gap. Right here, we got another hog to deal with. You're gonna have to go left and right a little bit to get around him. But once we do get around him, we're pretty much in the clear. If you can get to this point right here in about 30 to 33 seconds, you should be good, okay? We're gonna do a big jump here, another big jump to a small jump, and then jump large to this turtle. And we'll take him to our next set of platforms again, very easy right here do a big jump we're gonna jump up here ideally you want to spin on that box as you're jumping up and use its momentum to land up here and then jump and grab the other time box so I did a little bit slower um, you can make this jump but barely again that's a long jump to that first turtle that's laying down much faster than using the turtle to get there so I spin to take him out and then jump to that turtle here we're doing a big jump off of that turtle straight into a small jump and then another small jump to get to this platform here we're gonna do two one two small jumps on these turtle and then a for a big jump on this turtle and a for another big jump on that turtle to a small jump right here where we're gonna land on this blue platform jump to our other turtle for a big jump to the final incline blue uh, portion and you want to be able to jump over that gap so I do a small jump and then a large jump because there is a gap there if you just run up you'll actually fall off and that's gonna clock us in at 59.27 it is tough not beating around the bush at all this is a very 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 challenging mission the second most hard mission in my opinion um, behind stormy ascent 
So that's that. Let's go ahead and go into our box run. So you've got the Platinum Relic out of the way. The first thing that we need to do when the mission starts is actually head backwards. You're going to see some invisible planks that are going to appear and allow you to go to those boxes um, behind us. Now there's 45 boxes in this mission. There's no prerequisites. You can take your time. We don't need to worry about deaths anymore because this is not a colored gym. So we can just kind of go through. So if you do die, don't worry. You can go back to your checkpoints. Obviously, if you do struggle with the jumping on the ropes, you know, feel free to not do that. You can do it the way of taking your time and kind of jumping on the turtles. Um, if you're struggling for any reason with those kind of jumps, you know, feel free to take your time. The only thing I'll mention as we're kind of destroying a lot of these boxes here, be careful spinning a lot, okay? We want to be able to grab those tokens for our bonus level. You don't want to spin those away. So I've been showing you where all of those are. Again, there are 45 boxes to collect. A lot of those are actually going to be in our final bonus level. So we need all those tokens in order to get into that bonus level. So here we go. We're jumping here. You want to be able to destroy this box, but you need to hop onto the metal box before the TNT explodes so that we can actually jump up to the box above that steel box so be sure you jump up there pretty quickly and grab that box and then we're going to be progressing forward we're going to get our last token right here and this is actually our last box of the main portion of the mission so we can hop into the portal again as i've always mentioned in the previous videos you can try these bonus levels as much as you like if for any reason you miss a box here because i think this is one of the more challenging bonus levels in the game if you miss a box feel free to just die and come back into the portal so the way we do this is obviously we want to take out some of the boxes on the top row but not all of them because we need to use the top row to get back and then we can jump back along the bottom row to destroy all those boxes so there's 27 total boxes in the bonus mission and that is all of the final boxes that we need to collect all 45 so after you finish the bonus level you should be at 45 of 45 and now we can just kind of you know take our turtle jumps i love the turtle jumps in this game but take our turtle jumps jumps um, to this final area the gym should appear now we've got our clear gym in the high road again one of the most challenging missions in the game if you guys can finish high road and get the platinum relic and get the gym you can do this we can 100 percent this game together so i hope you guys are finding it helpful hopefully you enjoyed the you know platinum relic breakdown you got all your boxes and we'll be moving on to slippery climb in our next mission